You're a hunter. Your job is to go out and put food on the table so that your family doesn't starve. That is your job as a sales rep. You're not here to sit around and wait for the economy to get better. It doesn't matter if the store is closed. You're here to go out and look for the next sale so that you can afford that A5 Wagyu. This is something that I understood at the very start of my sales career, which allowed me to sell over $9.2 million of online programs as a high ticket sales rep for some of the biggest names in the industry, including guys like Ty Lopez. And in this video, I'm gonna reveal how you can become a killer sales rep who will close anyone so that you can live your dream lifestyle. Now let me ask you this. When the hunter has the bow and arrow in his hand and he's looking for his next meal, does he question whether his shot will hit or not? The best hunters in the world know that they are the best hunters in the world, period. Because they believe that their shot would hit and kill every single time. Which brings me to my next point. All of sales is belief. Sales is a transference of belief, belief in yourself and belief in the offer that you're selling on. People don't buy products or services. They buy the belief that those products or services will solve their problems, fulfill their desires or improve their lives. As a sales rep, your goal is to transfer that belief to your prospects. But if you yourself don't believe that the product that you're selling is the absolute best in the world, the prospect will never believe that you're worth buying from. This belief should be so strong that it borders on delusional. You must genuinely believe that you're the best sales rep and that your product or service is the absolute best solution for your target audience. If you have any doubt about yourself or your offer, your prospect can smell that a mile away, okay? Humans are exceptionally well at sniffing out attention, believe me. They will sense your hesitation, lack of confidence, or your uncertainty. But when you have an unshakable belief, you can hear the conviction in your words, your actions, and your energy. Remember, you can't transfer an empty cup to another empty cup, bro. You need to know that you're the best sales rep. You need to know that your shot will hit. You need to know that you're selling the best product that will help the prospect achieve their dreams. Only then will the prospect actually trust you. Now, to cultivate this level of belief, this next strategy I use took me less than two minutes a day and it doubled my commissions, but 99% of you watching this won't do this because you think it's corny. But after hearing so many of the top sales leaders in the world, like Brian Tracy, Zig Ziglar, Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, talk about this, I said I'll give it a shot. And the strategy that I'm talking about is affirmations. Every day, I start my day reading out affirmations. I would say, I'm the best salesman in this company. I'm the best salesman in this industry. I'm the best salesman in this country. It's like pumping yourself up, just like pumping a tire. You pump your self-esteem. And that's exactly what I was doing every single morning when I started out, when I was closing for one of the biggest online coaches in the world at that time. And don't just say it to say it. Say it with feeling. This is the most important part. When you do this correctly, it becomes an instruction to your subconscious mind, which then your subconscious mind will give you the words, the actions, the feelings consistent with the message you've sent to it, thus allowing you to hypnotize yourself into making more money. Another thing that I used to do before hopping on sales calls is I would say this, word for it, I'm a great salesperson, this is gonna be a great call. I'm a great salesperson, this is gonna be a great call. And I would say that three to five times. And again, say with feeling, and in your mind, see your prospect actually enjoying the conversation with you, smiling at you, agreeing with you, and responding with you in a positive way. Then your subconscious mind will give you the words, the body language, and the feeling consistent with the message you've sent to it. And so what you're doing here is that you're getting yourself psychologically prepared for a good experience, right? Visualize yourself as the best in the business. Visualize yourself as the very best in your business, the person you see is a person who you will become. And I know this might sound dumb when you start doing it or feel weird, but if you wanna be great, you have to do whatever it takes to maximize your chances of success. And that if it works for billionaires, it'll work for you. 50% of sales is a mindset game. So you need to change your brain chemistry if you want to win. Speaking of chemistry, I wanna talk about something in sales that I see almost nobody talks about the arts and the science of sales. 
Most sales coaches treat sales like a science. They'll teach you the frameworks, they'll give you the scripts to memorize, they'll also give you a list of objections that you need to role play every day so that you can handle them flawlessly. All of which are important if you wanna close deals, no doubt. But here's the thing, anyone can follow a script and read out questions. And if you're watching this, you probably already know that you need to set the agenda, ask good questions and find pain points. And you can also find thousands of sales scripts online that will work to some degree. And you can find objection handling frameworks in my free content too. But if that was the only factor that mattered, whether a sales rep would close at a 60% close rate or versus a 10% close rate, then everybody would be rich. Yet that's simply not the case. This is because most people overlook the art of sales, right? The art of sales is the ability to build rapport, actively listen, and overall just have a real conversation with another human being. Understand this guys, people don't buy because of the product. They don't buy because of the product is good. People buy from you because they like you, they wanna be like you, or they are like you. It has to feel good to work with you. You need to be different from everybody else. You wanna be charismatic, show some personality, crack a joke, be a human being that they wanna actually hang around with. Because when you come off as likable and an active listener and a good person, you can sell anything. The best salespeople focus as much on selling themselves as they do selling their product. A great product, by the way, is almost never enough. The human connection is what really moves the needle. And that's the art of sales. And part of the art of sales is understanding that people buy with emotion first, then justify with logic. It's a golden rule of sales. People buy with emotion first, then justify with logic. Everybody wants to make more money, but why do they want to make more money? Is it so that they can pay for the healthcare bills of their mother? Is it so they can escape their hellhole of a hometown? Or is it so that they can afford that Lamborghini to prove all their high school friends wrong? Your prospects will buy because they have these emotional needs that they think the product will solve. That's why you need to listen closely to the problems and then create a vision of how the product fits into their dream life. Because if you show that you care about their well-being, their fears, their dreams, in a world that barely listens, they will trust you infinitely more. They'll tell you things that they've never told anybody else. They won't see you as another sleazy salesman. They'll actually want to do business with you. And when you get to know them better and genuinely want to get the best outcome they possibly can, you will only sell products and services that will benefit them. Meaning that you won't push for a sale if it's not a good fit and burn the lead. You will only sell products that they need. You want to position yourself as this trusted advisor rather than just another salesperson, right? Your prospect will see you as someone who's genuinely invested in helping them achieve their goals and you will build a better long-term relationships. And that's the goal, guys. Good closers only know the scripts and frameworks, but great closers develop deep, meaningful connections with their prospects. Now, the next skill I'm about to share with you won't just improve your ability to close more deals, but it will improve your life as a whole. Understand this, sales is competitive. You guys know this, at any given moment, there are 10 other sales reps in your company who are fighting for the top spot. And really, only the top 1% will ever make it big, just like in any industry. So if you're not training to get better, that says something about your obsession or lack of obsession of winning. And I want you to win. And the only way to win is to train. The only way to win is to read more, is to get better. Look at yourself in the mirror. Are you really pushing yourself hard enough? Your wife, your husband, your spouse, your family member, your kids, your mom, your friends, your dad, they'll tell you you're doing great, give you a pat on your back, tell you that you're working hard, but you know the truth about how hard you're going. You know that you're not giving it your 100%. Just a few years ago, the idea that you could just take out your phone and you could watch a YouTube video on how to become the best sales rep in the world was unheard of. The world is changing. And if you're saying to yourself, I'm too old or I'm too smart to learn, well then guess what? A few years down the line, there's gonna be someone who wants it more than you, who is willing to train harder and learn more who is gonna take your spot. You need to train like your life depends on it every single day because it does. Once you stop sharpening your ax, you won't be able to cut down the tree. And once you stop training your bow and arrow, your arrow will miss and you won't be able to put food on the table. When I was first starting out in sales, I told my mentor, 
I wanted to be making 10K a month before I left my other sales job. So we outlined exactly what I was going to do, the exact parameters for me to practice to make sure that I could confidently close deals consistently. And then, so he connected me with some of his guys, his closers, who would act as a customer, right? And we would role play for an hour every single day. And I role played every possible buyer type and objection so that I was confident to close deals on my first day of placement when I actually got started closing deals. And on the weekends, I would travel for eight hours back and forth from my city just so I can meet with my sales mentor for 30 minutes in this very office so that he could listen to my calls and give me some feedback. And that sacrifice helped me start closing more deals. It was because of my commitment to always improving and relentless dedication to train that got me 1% better every single day which compounded over time to now allow me to make multiple six figures a year as a sales rep today. Sales is like a sport, guys. If you wanna get good, you need to be like Kobe Bryant training three times more than your peers. You need to be like Bezos putting in the hours in the locker room in the 90s. You need to listen to your own sales calls, read more books on sales, watch more videos. You need to live and breathe this life if you wanna become a top 1% sales rep. That is commitment. And by the way, when you put in the reps and trained enough, you won't even want a sales role with a base pay. You will want to find an offer that is commission only. You will want to get paid when your arrow hits because you know that you will get paid more for being the best. And the key is this, once you learn how to hunt, you never go hungry. And to never be hungry, you want to stay agile, quick with your movements, and always improving. Congrats, now you know how to become a killer sales rep in 2024. But remember how I mentioned that you need to learn about the art and science of sales to close more deals? Well, in this video, I went over the arts. Now, if you want the actual science, the step-by-step -step process of how to actually become a high ticket closer and quit your nine to five in 2024, go check out this full free training video that I posted over here and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.